All right, this will be a video on um, grading questions that are either essay questions or um, short answers, things like that. So the first thing you want, you can do a couple things. So one, you can go to the actual quiz, test, whatever, right? Oh, I need to student view. Huh. Hang on. All right. So you can go to the actual quiz test um, assignment. And you can click on speed grader here. So this is one way. And it will grade the multiple choice automatically. And then you will see the um, either short answer or essay question or whatever. So there's a couple things I can do here. Um, so first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to look at it. I'm going to determine in this case, it said three things. I only gave two. So I'm going to give, well, no. So I want to, because I made it one point. So let's do a point 75. And if I just click enter, um, then it adds in the support. So now instead of having the three, I've got 3.75. Three point seventy five. Um, once I've done this too, I can add a couple things. I can go in here and I can add, like for example, you did not. All right. So you can, you know, um, put in whatever you want that will make it clear what you either wanted or if it was good or anything like that. You can also put a comment over here if you wanted to, uh, so it's not under here. Um, or you can do both if you wanted to. So this is for the student really. So you would put in here, you hit submit, update scores, you just click through, comment submitted, um, and the student will be able to see it in their grades. The other way to get to the speed grader, so here, is to go to grades and under the, probably gonna have to find it. I haven't organized this demo class like my regular class, so it kind of has just a lot of stuff thrown under it. <laughs> Bunch of stuff. Um, so now it's going to take forever to probably fix that. There we go. All right. So, no problem. So I've got. And then, well, I can search. Maybe I can't. I don't know. I got nothing. All right, fine. Let's do this. Let's do classwork homework. And then I'll do this is under population. I think. Mm. I don't know if it's in the right one. Yeah, okay. So here we go. So, or maybe not. It should. Oh, I didn't have a due date. That's my problem. Okay. <sighs> oh, Pat. If you don't have a due date, it won't show up in your grades down here. Um, so that's a little problematic. For some people. So I'm gonna make it do today, open today. 
closed. I don't know. Tomorrow. It doesn't know. This is a not a real student. This is my test student in a demo class, so it doesn't really matter. Okay. Let's see if that works. Uh, okay. Maybe it needs to be the other population. For some reason I have a couple in here. Okay, maybe. Maybe not. Exceptionally obnoxious. All right. So either it doesn't really matter. You're going to click in the assignment um, for whatever student. It, that part doesn't matter. And you're just going to click this over button. And then you're going to click on Speed Grader. And it will take you into the assignment. And the way to navigate in here would be to go in here. And um, you will also find that there's like by class and different things like that. So this one still has no due date. So the easiest way I would say is to go into the whatever quiz, whatnot, and click on Speed Grader. And again, because this is a demo course, I'm going to have all these glitches. This would not happen in a my regular uh, class. But that's pretty much how you grade in Speed Grader and grade like essay questions.